expert to describe yes. the weather as well. <laughs> you guys are really nice and chipper uh, because oh, chipper. Uh, d due to the weather. Maybe? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. We're enjoying the weather. I mean, you're nice and chipper every day, but uh, <laughs> you know, I, I think you know the weather when it's great, it, it uh, makes us all it feel better. It affects your mood. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it does. It and does. So I'm loving it. Your your moods are going to be great today. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> a lot of great moods. Let me start uh, by giving you another thing that's going to bring you some uh, great mood today, and that's the tropics, which are nice and quiet. The Atlantic, not too much happening there. Over in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, uh, there's not too much activity uh, either. So that's more good news as we continue to make our way through hurricane season. Here's a look at the national picture and as you can see uh, over across the southeast United States for the most part some great weather. If you are traveling towards the Carolinas however uh, there is uh, plenty of activity out in that direction that's headed up towards Baltimore and the D.C. area so that's something to be aware of. Uh, parts of Florida have seen you know three to five inches of rainfall over the course of the last six hours or so so that's going to continue as that frontal boundary continues to make its way out of that out of uh, that area and then this line of showers and storms associated with this trough headed into the central and upper Mississippi Valley. If you're headed in that direction, you know, be aware of that, uh, that type of weather that's moving through that area as well. Here's the forecast model. I'll take you through the next couple of days, starting with today, showing you the potential for seeing a little bit of activity along the coast later this morning and into the early afternoon hours, but only a, only a small chance of seeing uh, that activity. Into your evening, we're looking good. Into your Thursday morning, some mostly clear conditions. Into Thursday afternoon, this is at 3 o'clock. Tomorrow, as you can see, not too much activity, a lot of activity down here in the Gulf of Mexico, but nothing over our heads here in southeast Louisiana for the most part. Into your Friday morning, we're looking good. On Friday afternoon, a little more cloud cover will be with us, some partly cloudy conditions for the most part. So if you're going to be out and about, expect that. Expect temperatures to be a few degrees higher as well. And then into your Friday night, you're looking pretty good. But it looks like the weekend is not going to be as great as what we have uh, for the next several days. In fact, our rainfall chances are going up on Saturday. I've We've got it at 40 to 50 percent on Sunday, about a 50 percent chance of seeing some showers, maybe a few storms, and that moves all out of the area uh, by late Monday morning. So uh, the rain is going to be with us for a little while, and into Monday the rain chances go down, but down to about 20 to 30 uh, percent. Right now at the airport, the 74 degrees, some part of the mostly cloudy skies, 73 percent humidity outside. And here's a look at uh, your hour by hour forecast. And I think by noon time you'll see temperatures in the upper 70s to the low 80s, and your highs this afternoon once again in the mid 80s. Here's a quick look at your seven-day forecast as I toss this over to Susan Isaacs.